I've got a mark. There's a really good mark. Ambrose. Ambrose goes long, shook the tackle and drilled a beauty. Well, Paddy, after 88 games in the red and black, you've decided to call time on your AFL career. Can you take us through the emotions that you're feeling as you announce your retirement? Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty tough decision for myself, a pretty emotional day yesterday. But, um, yeah, just been battling this foot for a, a couple of years now and... Um, yeah, a couple of months ago, I sort of come to the realisation that it wasn't going to get back to that level to play AFL footy. So, yeah, it was the right time for me to, to make the call. What are some of the things that in the past 24 to 48 hours that you've looked back on as you've made this decision? Just all the, uh, the friendships, I think, and the, um, the accomplishment of making it. I had to, had to do it the tough way coming through uh, playing VFL and local footy and got my chance. And I think I got the most out of myself. And, um, all the friendships you make, like the people who have messaged me for, who I've played with, it's just, yeah, it's been overwhelming. How does it make you feel to sort of come from that background, as you say, through the VAFA with old Severians and then into VFL? You know, how does it make you feel that you were able to sort of go an unusual route but still play, you know, a very good amount of games for a very famous AFL club? Yeah, it's just, um, I guess it'll sink in when I, I sit back and um, have a bit of time to uh, digest it all, but no, nah, it's just proud, yeah. I'm proud of my career and got the most out of myself and uh, yeah, I think I can, I can be pretty happy with the career I had. You talked about how injuries sort of have taken their toll and you have faced your challenges, you know, uh, what has it been like to sort of face those challenges and, and then ultimately try and, and get through them? Yeah, it's been, um, I've definitely had my fair share of injuries through the career, I think I've had eight or ten surgeries so um, it's a it's part of footy but yeah this one just is a bit of a roller coaster you'd get back playing then have setbacks and um, yeah just got to the point where it wasn't coming back up and I couldn't train so um, yeah that pretty much made the decision for me. Are there any specific highlights throughout your career that you sort of look back on fondly? Um, yeah definitely those Anzac Day games that yeah, we won a couple of them that I played in and just playing in front of big crowds and um, also 2016 when the club that our backs were up against the wall and we managed to actually have uh, three good wins that year and um, yeah, I look back on them pretty proudly. How many teammates have, have reached out to you with, with this news uh, um, in the past uh, sort of one to two days? Yeah, yeah, heaps. It's been, um, it's been overwhelming just the, the support and the, the Essendon family is just, uh, yeah, it's something they'll be proud of and I'll, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. So. Uh, are there any uh, special mentions to people that have helped you throughout your career sort of get to the point where you are today? Um, yeah, definitely all my family. My family and my partner, Ali, and um, I think guys who have more helped me, like uh, Matt O'Hanlon sort of got me to the VFL in the first place, and uh, Mark Harvey sort of, I was struggling a little bit as a forward, and he turned me into a backman and had a few good seasons there. So, yeah, thanks, Harves, and um, yeah, just all the coaches along the way who have helped me out. Unfortunately, due to those injuries in the, in the past couple of years, you haven't been able to feature at senior footy a lot, but you've been a part of the transition period into what is now a young group under Ben Rudden. What are some of the signs you're seeing um, as you do exit the club? It's just such a different group now and it's so exciting. They, uh, they play with an element of freedom, I think, and um, yeah, there's no ceiling on, on what they can do this year and definitely in the next couple of years. I think it's a very exciting time to to be a Bombers supporter and a Bombers player, so yeah, good luck to them. Are there any sort of uh, youngsters that you might have been a mentor to that you're looking forward to seeing develop over the next few seasons? Yeah, uh, Mason Redmond's definitely one who um, I've had a lot to do with and you've definitely seen now he's playing some really good footy and, and uh, yeah, look forward to watching him the next few years for sure. Now that uh, one door closes, what is the uh, future for you and what does it hold? Um, I'm not sure. My, my partner's from WA, so I think we'll, uh, we'll spend some time over there and get some sun and, um, yeah, look at my next career path. So it could be something in building or, yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure, but it's exciting to see what, uh, yeah, what the future holds. And finally, uh, it'd be great to do this in person, but with the current situation, a lot of fans won't be able to say goodbye to you as of this year. Uh, is there something you might like to say to them as you do uh, leave the club and the game? Yeah, just thank you for all your support, guys. It's been a, an amazing journey and uh, to play 88 games for such a big club and with a proud history like Essendon, it's uh, something I'll cherish forever. So thanks, guys. It's been amazing.